Our future is all about water. It's too wet where you want it dry, too dry where you want it wet, and you need water for plants to grow. SMAP will help address this issue by tracking water around our globe. SMAP is a acronym for Soil Moisture Active Passive. It's a satellite that uh, studies the Earth's moisture content, where it is, where it comes from, where it goes. Soil moisture plays a, a very active and vital role in the water cycle, and, and we all depend on it in ways that uh, we don't realize every day. Every three days, we'll have a soil moisture map of the entire Earth, and it will allow scientists to track water availability around the globe, which will also help in guiding policy decisions. We can use the data to help forecast crop productivity, conditions for floods to occur, the extent of droughts, risk for wildfires, and also for vector-borne diseases that can occur in regions where there's lots of surface water. And it'll help us mitigate the impacts that these phenomena have on people's lives. Soils are like sponges. You know, they can hold a certain amount of water. And if we know the amount of water in the soils and we know that there's a big rainstorm coming, for example, and that the soils are near saturation, then we can predict that that area might be at risk for flooding. When there's a lot of moisture available in, this, in the soil, it can support stronger thunderstorms. So, so being able to understand the soil moisture state is also useful for weather forecasting in the near term. We're going to launch on a Delta II launch vehicle. It goes into a polar orbit around the Earth, and uh, we deploy a giant dish. It's a six meter reflector, so it unstows like a camp chair would. What the big spinning antenna allows us to do is to make the measurements over a very wide swath, a thousand kilometers, and that's the secret to our being able to make our measurements every two or three days. This is the first time that such a large deployable mesh antenna is being used for microwave remote sensing application. We don't ever do the same thing twice, and SMAP follows along uh, that same formula. It's vital to help us understand what our planet's doing, as well as to support these applications that'll touch uh, you know, everybody on the planet uh, in a fairly significant way. The measurements are really important. In terms of our future, one of the biggest issues is water, and SMAP will help us better understand this mobility of water from one place to another. I think it has the potential to touch everyone's life. <laughs>